thanks for joining us. Stacy here, and this is my Halloween home tour for 2022. I know it's a little late in the season for this, but I figure better late than never, so here we go. I'm going to start in the front yard with my Dollar Tree Halloween Ghost. I love these guys because they're so inexpensive and make such a dramatic effect. I've done these for the last three or four years now. They're just so nice because they're easy to store and they don't take up much space and they look so good. They give such a dramatic effect for not much money and easy to put up. My front porch this year was not scary at all. This is mostly leftover birthday party decorations from Charlie's September birthday party. So it's pinks and oranges, really more like harvest vibes, which I also like that for Halloween. Um, I usually have two big pumpkins in these planters right here, but one of them rotted because I try to pick it up by the handle, by the top knot, whatever that, the stem. <laughs> and it broke and so it started rotting early so I went ahead and fed it to the chickens. I do have two spooky elements on my porch. One's that mat there that I got from Sam's Club and the other is this wreath which I got from Home Goods. So fun. All right guys, honestly this is my favorite room. It's the girls room and I just always think it's so adorable. It's my favorite kind of spooky cute kind of Halloween decorating. <laughs> Look at these beds, isn't, oh my goodness, so, so nice. I just got them these faux fur comforters for their bed, so they're very warm and snuggly and got a good weight to them. I love these ghost lights. I got one string at Michael's last year and I had to get another this year. I got these cat and ghost pillows. Those came from Walmart and I think they were like $5 a piece, so good deal. I have to put a placemat here because that's a wood piece and Charlie likes ice water on her bed at night. Not on her bed, but you know, beside her bed. So I always put a festive placemat there depending on the season. <laughs> Hello pumpkin! That came from Hobby Lobby. It's big, but it's, it's a nice dramatic statement. That ghost came from Target, one of my new purchases this year. I didn't make many purchases this year, but that was one of them. <laughs> Oh, and this ghost. I got two of these guys from Home Goods, and I only ended up using one in this room, and the other one you'll see later. His brother will show up in another room. Look at those sweet baby pictures. I didn't do a whole lot on this wall, Halloween y. I mean, I hung up those ghosts. I got those last year at Dollar Tree, and I think they're cute. I took their mouths off because I think they looked cuter without their mouths. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Just eyes. Josephina made this sign for me to hang up so that we can know whose turn it is to pick what song I sing at bedtime because we alternate between the two girls. One night Charlie gets to pick and the next night Josie gets to pick and this makes it a lot easier. And this is a wreath that I got from Bullseye Playground for $3 that Josie put together and a little ghosty garland. So yeah, I think that's about it for this room. My favorite. So this is the Nightmare Before Christmas Hall bathroom. Now not a whole lot has changed since last year, but I do have a couple new items. That's the same shower curtain from last year, which is, I think, perfect for a Nightmare Before Christmas theme, even though it's not technically Jack or anything like that. But then I have these pieces that I got from Walmart a year or two ago, I can't remember anymore, but a staple for me at this point. The Halloween town sign came from Spirit Halloween, and this Oogie Boogie candy bowl up here, isn't that amazing? It's a nice heavy piece. I got that at Target in their like Disney section. So it's like Disney store stuff in Target now. So that's fun. I love these countdown till Halloween or countdown till Christmas calendars, but I always leave it on October 31st or December 25th because I always forget to change it. Every day right now is Halloween. <laughs> There's the zero that I painted. I'm so proud of still. I think it looks really good. I had these Nightmare Before Christmas adorables, if you know what those are. And I told Josie, I was like, Josie, do you think you can make me a little stand or something to display these on? And she made this for me. It's so cool. And she painted it very uh, thoughtful of the colors. This is my Nightmare Before Christmas Halloween tree. And I have all my Nightmare Before Christmas ornaments on here. And I really just bring them out for Halloween. I don't bring them out for Christmas. Although I am a firm believer that you can use Nightmare Before Christmas to decorate for Halloween 
and for Christmas. I think it celebrates both holidays. I know that's a pretty divisive comment in some circles, but yeah, this is my Jack pedestal. It's just a little dessert pedestal, but we use it for toilet paper because I don't want it to get wet on the counter, you know? I love just hanging a little creepy cloth around the mirror because instant atmosphere. <laughs> And also, one of my favorite scents is Vampire Blood. I know that sounds gross or weird, but it's Bath & Body Works Halloween scent. And a lot of people don't like it, I know, because it's kind of mild. But to me, it smells really feminine. I don't know, I just love it. So I have the uh, air freshener and the soap in the bathroom right now. That and pecan waffles, pumpkin pecan waffles. That's my other favorite. These are my Jack hand towels for drying your hands. And I also have a little eyeball flower bouquet up here. Super fun, right? And some black washcloths. And there's my Jack portrait that I painted that I am also still very proud of. You can see where I colored his eyes in with Sharpie. <laughs> This is my Bath & Body Works Haunted House or Witch House plug-in. And these are kind of expensive for me. This is the first one I've ever bought. Bought and bought, boughted. This is the first one I've ever acquired. And it's like $35, I think, $32.99, something like that. And it's adorable, but man, it's expensive. And this is my living room, guys. Welcome to the... <laughs> Welcome to the madhouse, guys. There's my headless horseman. Lots of branchy trees and a little, some lights. Uh, just a generic kind of Halloween theme this year. I didn't go full on intense theme like I do sometimes. This time I just wanted to be a little more fun and kind of off the cuff. I got these bat lights this year and I absolutely love them. They're so cool. I'm gonna be sad when Halloween's over and I take them down, but there's always next year. Have you seen these bats on mirrors? I love it. Cause one year I put the bats up on my fireplace and it left behind all this sticky residue when I took them down and I couldn't completely get it off. So now I have like little, I don't know, it's annoying. So I love the idea of putting them on a mirror cause it's much easier to clean than a painted fireplace. And this is my Halloween tree. Josie painted those ornaments for me. And this is my cabinet of curiosities. If you saw that episode where we went to Ikea where I was looking for a cabinet for my cabinet of curiosities, this is it. Got it set up, got it started. It's not full yet, but I've got some really amazing natural wonders here. That's an actual bat. It is passed away. <laughs> Uh, I know that might be gross to some people, but I just think it's amazing. And this is an actual bat skeleton assembled. It's an actual skeleton, so that's very cool. It's hard to show some of this stuff because the more light I use, the more reflections I get. But that's in harpsichord from the Civil War. And my Aunt Teresa found these for me. Look at these awesome sculptures. You know what that's on? A fungus. It's a big tree fungus where they drew these pictures on the other side. There's fish on this one and a tiger on the other, I think. I also have a corn cob pipe, which is kind of cool. And that's my grandfather Alfred's pipe, which is very cool to me, it's something personal. And yeah, there's the other one. It's a tiger or bobcat, wildcat maybe? Look at that tail, that bobtail makes it look like a wildcat to me. So my third shelf's not really that far along yet. I have a couple weird looking um, seashells and Josie made that little display in the cloche in the back. Some seashells she collected. And panning around, that's Sam the skeleton by the way. We have two of those. Mine's Sam and Kyle's is Chester Copperpot. We have the hallway which I just covered the bench with a black and white fabric and put some decorative pillows on. And that's about it for decorating the hall. I don't really do very much there. That's Kyle's new stressless chair. It is so comfortable and I think it looks so cool, like somewhere between cool professor or music producer or something like that. I just like it. I think it's really cool looking and it's very comfortable. Hopefully it'll last for a long, long time. <laughs> and that's my Mickey Mouse cookie jar. And I got that at Home Goods, but it straight up looks like Disney Parks merchandise to me. I mean, it's really nice. It's good quality. I got these black and white striped curtains and I don't know, I'm still not completely sold on them. Sometimes it feels like a circus. <laughs> and then I'm like, well, that's appropriate, probably. <laughs> I was trying to channel Katrina Van Tassel's dress at the end of Sleepy Hollow. If you know, you know. I love these sweet little ghosty pillows. Oh, they're so cute with their little pink cheeks. <laughs> 
I don't know how long these will last because they are white. But I got them this year, so hopefully they'll last till next year at least. These are like appetizer plates, these little dishes that you'll see around. They're from Target, but they're called appetizer plates, but I use them as like little, little trivets. So I always like to put a little decoration on my picture ledge up here. Um, I have a ghosty garland going across the bottom there and a couple other little bonus decorations up there. This is a fantastic large jack-o'-lantern I got last year. I think I got it at Kroger. Kroger. I don't know why I said it like that. There's some little knick-knacky things. Another one of those appetizer plates <laughs> with the skeleton hand on it. Yeah, I like this bouquet. I got this at Walmart several years ago and it has really stood the test of time. I was very surprised. Got my booty you sign, my spooky movie theater kiosk thing. I don't know what you call that really. I love fall most of all. Oh yeah. And then a little ghosty house pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, Josie's gingerbread house or ginger dead house and Charlie's ginger dead house. Just so much fun we have here at Halloween time. And just a last quick pan around watching Hocus Pocus while we're doing this, of course. But that's it for the living room. And yes, I did switch that tray table around so you could read it. <laughs> Okay, it's time for the Haunted Mansion dining room or game room or we got lots of uses for this room. We use it a lot, but yeah, this is it. This is my Haunted Mansion. We'll just call it dining room because that's what most people would use it for. I have a mirror with some creepy cloth on it. This is our coffee station with our Keurig and our Nespresso machine. Setting atop a Haunted Mansion patterned shower curtain as a tablecloth, yes, very nice, I know, we're classy. These are photos that we had done at Disney World at the Haunted Mansion, well, at Memento Mori, the gift shop, where you take their picture and they do this ghoulish thing on it, so it's very cool. It's hard to get a good video of it without getting all the reflections, but next time we go, we're gonna get them done of the kids too, because we'll be a little ghosty family all together in our Haunted Mansion our haunted 1400 square foot mansion. <laughs> There's Kyle as Master Gracie. Yep, that's him. <laughs> and welcome foolish mortals. There's a random little skeleton up there too. And this is my Madame Leota. I got this this year at Lowe's. One of the few things I got this year. And I love it. I'll play it for you here in a second, but it's super cool. I gotta figure out how to make that candlestick float for next year. I also got that cauldron from Home Goods last year wizards and witches wherever you dwell give us a hint by ringing a bell <laughs> serpents and spiders tail of a rat call in the spirits wherever they're at yes so that's actually her voice from the ride and I love it. That tree has LED lights on it and I just keep it plugged in all the time. And it's nice because it creates a really nice nightlight at night if you need to come out to the fridge or something. I mean, I don't know why anyone would do that, but just in case. This is a little ghost host guy here with a candle. I thought he was Haunted Mansion appropriate. And look at this table runner with the eyes. Does that not scream Haunted Mansion? And a little phone and see what's on the Victrola. Roberta Flack, N not very Halloween-y, but maybe, I don't know. We can make it work. I'm so good at hanging up phones. So we have this big bookshelf unit in our dining room, which uh, the middle part I use as a pantry for dry goods. And the outside mostly I use for decorating. <laughs> it, it, the functionality issue is just kind of like, I don't care. I just want it to have a nice place to decorate. Cause I'm kind of all about the uh, atmosphere. It gives me all the feels, so yeah. And this is how I decorated the top of it this year. Welcome, 
this shelf holds our books. I switch them out for the holidays, so I put Christmas books up here at Christmas time and scary books up here for Halloween. And there's a few things that stay up here, like the Bible and some cookbooks that stay up here all the time. But those are my Haunted Mansion bookends. I uh, love those. And down there is a little Halloween tree with my Haunted Mansion ornament on it. And then just random bats and ghosts. Not ghosts, pumpkins. <laughs> So yeah, and it lights up purple. I love it. It's in a trick-or-treat uh, utensil holder, which I like to use as a, a plant stand. And that's a feel your pain. And I need to change her battery, so, and it, I don't have one of those teeny tiny screwdrivers, so I gotta get one of those so I can plug her in, because I, I, I love her. She's my favorite. That bat skeleton is not real, in fact. <laughs> I put up creepy cloth around the whole top part. There's a pumpkin and some highball glasses. And that is a little haunted house that Josie and I made last year with popsicle sticks and two haunted house like forms from Dollar Tree. And we painted it and I think it came out really cool. So as we pan down, this is a very fun shelf. It has my beware of hitchhiking ghost sign and a cool glass owl trivet. And that's a picture of my grandfather, who isn't he so handsome? He looks like Clark Gable. Very proud of those jeans. <laughs> There's another trivet. This one has a crow on it. But yeah, just kind of in a little eclectic assortment. A couple candles, battery operated candles, not trying to start any fires here. <laughs> So this shelf has uh, Edgar and Alan. That's the name of those two spiders. I've had them for many years now. My crystal ball, well, one of several crystal balls. This one's actually so beautiful and it doesn't quite translate on video. My welcome foolish mortal sign. I printed that up on the computer and put it in a beautiful frame. <laughs> and then my scary tree. I got this at Home Goods. I think he's so, I don't know, it reminds me of Wizard of Oz and it's just wonderfully fun, I think. Now moving on to the side of this bookshelf, you might recognize this ghosty right here. We saw his brother in the girls' room. That's one of Bruce's old, it's like a child skeleton to learn the bones and the parts, of, yeah, that part fell down, to learn the anatomy of a skeleton. On this shelf, I have another uh, crystal ball and a framed Halloween card. And this is a candy dish that lights up and talks. I usually, it has a wonderful feature where you can just turn on the lights and not have the sound. And I think it looks so cool lit up. I leave that on all the time because it's motion censored. So that's fun to walk by and all that come on. So yeah, that's about it for my Haunted Mansion dining room. And now for my witchy kitchen, I hang those witch hats up in the kitchen with some fishing line and a thumbtack and they give such a wonderfully dramatic effect. But I'll start over here um, around the oven. I have another trivet there. This one has a cauldron on it. So, you know, all my kitchen witchery. Witchery, I think that's a word. But yeah, they say a, a crock pot is just an electric cauldron. So I create all my magic in there. <laughs> I love this wax warmer, this skull wax warmer. I got that at Walmart. And yeah, I keep my sprinkles out here for cupcakes and things and I got a couple those came from Target those little bitty bottles of teeny bottles with teeny magic stuff in <laughs> I don't know I love that kind of stuff I'm such a child I think I've got an owl in a cloche of course and salt and pepper on those little skeletal handstands handstands hand handstands yeah not the exercise but moving on to my tiered tray I have a lot of my Ray Dunn Halloween mugs in here and a couple other goodies. Hocus Pocus sign. Hocus Pocus mug. I had a lot more treats in here, but they have somehow disappeared. I don't know how that happens. It happens every year, though. But, um, yeah, on the back side, got more mugs, more treats, the leftover stuff. That one says Candy Coma. You can't quite read it, but I just wanted to make sure you knew. That's what it said. Candy Coma. Okay, moving around, away from the tear tray to the cabinets here. Some of my cabinets you may notice are missing knobs. I have new knobs for them, but in true ADHD fashion, I have not put them on. Some cabinets have been missing knobs for almost two years now. I will do it, I will do it eventually, just not today. 
I thought this little triple cauldron thing was really cool, like service wear for Halloween time. And this Joanna Parker drying mat, I love it. You might know who she is. She's very popular in vintage Halloween decorating, which is very on trend right now. I love Halloween soap dispensers. I want like five soap dispensers at my sink. See, that one talks too, but I hesitate to set it off because one night it was just going off over and over and over and over again. I say talks, but it's really more of a cackle. It cackles. That's a Hocus Pocus cupcake holder that I put on top of that witch candle holder. Because <laughs> I didn't have a candle to put on it, so I stuck that up there. I think it worked pretty nice. So moving on over, I got these different signs at various places. The skeleton, which Charlie put a heart on, was from Dollar Tree. The Black Hat Society was also from Dollar Tree. So was Booty You, but I put the ears and the bow on it. And that one was from Dollar Tree as well. Okay, so not various places. They're all from the Dollar Tree. I also got these adorable containers from Home Goods, currently housing chocolate fudge in one and peanut butter fudge in the other. So that kind of wraps up that corner, but moving on over, there we go is my potions and spell books and all that random stuff. Those are those books that you can open and they're actually storage containers, which are very convenient when at the end of the season when I have to put all this stuff away. I got my bottles that I have gotten from either at home or Target. It's where most of them came from. Look at those little tiny ones. Aren't those so cute? I don't know why they give me all the, oh, it's so cute, gotta scream into a pillow. I just love tiny things. I don't know. Miniature versions of real things are super fun to me. I don't know. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that cute? I don't know why. I mean, it's absolutely not usable at all. There's nothing you can do with it. But look at it and be like, oh, happy. Or at least for me. <laughs> That's a Hocus Pocus coffee mug I got from the Disney Warehouse last time we went to Florida. And then I saw this little guy. I'm like, oh, what's that? Is that a termite? I started to freak out for a second, but it's not. It's just an ant. <laughs> And then I pan over to the top of the microwave where I have my spider tea light holder and he's got these long spindly legs. Isn't he impressive? But yeah guys, that's about it for my witchy kitchen and my Halloween home tour for 2022. So thank you so much for joining us. Love you so much and see you next time. Bye!